Minghan is a traditional Chinese practice of arranging a marriage for deceased individuals. Sometimes, young couples who were engaged but had not yet wed passed away unexpectedly. At that time, the elderly believed that if they did not complete the marriage arrangements for the deceased, their spirits would cause trouble and unrest in the household. Therefore, they had to hold a Minghan ceremony for them, bury them together as a couple, and perform joint burial to avoid leaving lonely graves in the cemetery. In Chinese folklore, arranging a Minghan requires knowledge of the birth dates and times of the two individuals. Cherry repeatedly dreamed that she was dressed in a phoenix coronet and auspicious robes, carried in a sedan, and wedded to someone. It felt so realistic that every time she arrived at a mansion, someone would pull her out of the sedan. However, a voice in her mind would always tell her not to go, not to go at all. Cherry would try to resist each time, but eventually fail and be dragged inside. Interestingly, every time she was forced to kneel down and bow. At first, Cherry thought it was amusing, like watching a movie. But then one day, she woke up and found marks on her body as if someone had pinched her. Cherry is a beauty blogger who has earned a lot of money online. She bought a house for her parents and a separate one for herself with the money. One day, she returned late from work and did not want to disturb her parents, so she stayed in her own apartment on the 8th floor while her family stayed on the 6th floor. One morning, she was carrying food downstairs when two elevators were occupied. She walked down the stairs and bumped into a stranger who pushed her aggressively, causing her to fall and hurt her leg. She thought it was just her illusion from working too hard, so she went home to rest. But then she had another nightmare, where a man in his 20s with a twisted face and who she didn't know, asked her why she wouldn't marry him suddenly, he charged at her, causing her to wake up drenched in sweat. Cherry went to take a bath to calm down, but while she was lying in the tub, she felt like someone was holding her head down. She almost drowned. At this point, even the dumbest person could sense that something was not right. One of Cherry's classmates was the daughter of a man from northeast China. Cherry immediately contacted this uncle, who was quite capable, and he concluded through video chat and messaging that Cherry was a victim of a Minghun. Cherry was confused because she knew that she would not willingly approach anyone for this type of arrangement, as she and her mother both believed in this type of superstition. After investigating further, Cherry discovered that her grandfather's family had sold her birth chart to a wealthy family whose son had died prematurely. The reason for this was that Cherry had made a lot of money from her online business but had not shared it with them, which was outrageous. They claimed that this arrangement would not harm Cherry, but she nearly fell into their trap. Unable to travel due to COVID-19 restrictions, Cherry's uncle couldn't come to help her. However, he introduced her to a master Huang, who lived nearby and had connections. After learning the situation, master Huang deduced that someone was manipulating Cherry's birth chart behind the scenes, and the simple strategy of matching birth charts couldn't have resulted in such an unfortunate outcome. But since the man had gone into hiding, they could only wait for a new development. After leaving some protective items, Master Huang asked Cherry and her parents to stay together. At the time, Cherry's younger sister was also staying with their parents. One day, Cherry had to go out for work, leaving her family at home. When she returned that afternoon, she found her parents and brother unconscious, and her sister was missing. She immediately woke them up and went searching for her sister, but she was nowhere to be found. She called the police and waited for them to arrive while her younger brother and she went downstairs to check the surveillance cameras. As soon as they stepped out of the elevator, Cherry had a sudden impulse to look up. To her horror, she saw a man holding her sister on a neighbor's balcony. She was so frightened that she could hardly call out and she felt as if someone was gripping her throat. However, she managed to scramble up the stairs to the neighbor's apartment without waiting for the elevator. She didn't even bother knocking on the door, instead kicking it open. When she saw the man holding her sister and about to throw her, Cherry acted on instinct and rushed towards him, grabbing her sister and pulling her away from him. The man just laughed stupidly, as if he didn't understand what was happening. When the police arrived, they found the man to be quite clueless. He said that his family had locked him in the house while they went out and didn't expect him to go anywhere. 
He didn't know how he ended up in Cherry's house, let alone why he took her sister. So after Cherry returned home, she found that the peephole on her door was covered. She immediately contacted Master Huang for help. When Master Huang arrived, he went straight to the child's room and what happened next made Cherry's hair stand on end. Don't pretend. Do you think they can't see it? Do you know that what you're doing can prevent you from going to next life? Who helped you do this evil thing? The little girl, who was only five or six years old, had a very resentful look in her eyes and spoke with a man's voice. You really are nosy, you old thing. Aren't you afraid of dying? After that, Master Huang immediately asked Cherry and the others to leave. It was only after a while that he brought the little girl out. The child's face was very pale. Master Huang said it was nothing to worry about, but to take good care of the child and let her get plenty of sun. Finally, he told Cherry to go back to her hometown. This time, Cherry was more cautious because she had been taken advantage of last time. She contacted a friend who was a big shot in the gang. A group of rough-looking men went with her and discovered that the other party had hired someone to perform dark magic. There was indeed a lady who was a medium with a few goblins by her side. As the saying goes, money can make the devil turn the mill. Cherry spent a little money and soon found the man's body. He wasn't even buried, and he was still wearing his wedding clothes, red shoes, red clothes, and a red hat. There was also a paper effigy of Cherry next to him. At the scene, the smell was very strong, but Master Huang came up with a plan. He suggested reporting it to the police, saying that there were people practicing feudal superstition and trying to harm others. When the other party's relatives and friends heard the news, they caused a commotion, but Cherry had brought people with her and didn't suffer any losses. In the end, the neighbors wrote a joint letter to express their disapproval, and Cherry held a ceremony to cremate the man's body. So, don't give out your birthday randomly.